begin again! It's firework factory time, ladies and folks, and gents, and babies above the Whatever the, the fuck y'all is. Babies the, above the age of 16. Welcome back to whatever the fuck this show is, the movie, the game, the episode, the experience, the, the King Kong ass tom fuckery of this, this playthrough. The Universal Studios motion ride, that is. Eurocom Entertainment Software. <laughs> Crash Bash! There you go. How many tangents can we go off? I of don't person? know, man. I'm so out of it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play with the controller behind my head. We're going to see how this goes, guys. Okay, it's not going too well. Cool! Hey, Greta, Greta, Greta's can... back. Good to see you again. She speaks in uwu! She speaks in uwu! You made that joke last time. I know, because it's cute! She speaks in uwu! Yeah, I'll help you out. Just kill that guy for me. All right, never mind. She don't. Uh oh. All right, so that. Alrighty then. So that happened. That's a really cool ninja that's, trick. That's a did. that's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking leaves, dude. It's like fuck this playthrough and this game. Fuck this shit. I'm out. All Good right now. Bye. That was fucking funny. <laughs> just yeet. All right. Yeet well, you don't get good. fucking gems from certain ones because you can't like actually kill a couple of them. Cause they just keep. Oh man, I forgot about this. Here you go. Have fun with that. Uh. <laughs> Championship level AI in this one right here. My God. How uh, did you do so, that? And I don't Teach ever. Teach me your ways. I don't ever remember that happening in the original. I don't God. even remember this shit. Man. That's so wonderful. <laughs> First into a wall and second into a fucking lava pit. God, that's funny. Fuck you, you stupid degenerate. Get out of here. Fly in the lava. Oh my god, I can't believe he just fucking yeeted himself into the lava. <laughs> See, now we you gotta be in some sort of goddamn painful existence for that shit to happen. So we've looped back around. Now we're, now we're out of it and also giggly. <laughs> Studio giggly. Studio Hi, I'm Miyazaki. <laughs> My name's Mizaki. I'm here to. I don't know what I'm going I'm here to, to revolutionize this. Japanese animation with good dubs. Yeah. And strong female protagonists. That aren't strong field for female protagonists for the sake of being strong female protagonists. Noodles! Because it makes sense for the story. Oh man, I'd eat noodles. Fucking put them right in my goddamn mouth and eat that ass. I'm going to eat his ass. My arms are getting tired from having the controller behind my head, guys. You don't need to do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do the whole level like this. I was gonna say, besides that one thing at the very beginning where you immediately bricked into a wall, you've been doing pretty well. I know. <laughs> yeah, don't you don't need to tell me, I know. <laughs> oh, hello. Goodbye. Wherever the hell you went. You're probably in the wall. Oh, oh there ah, you are. Hello. There you are. How many more of you are there? Mm -hmm. okay. That's the other thing. In this level, they just drop Hang to the, the ceilings, ceilings and shit. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Okay, which one of you wants to loop into the wall first? No one. Alright, well, I can tell you right now, this is the easiest way to kill him. You did it. Boom! He's got bombs and shit all over his goddamn back. Oh, she's gonna do the- HOLY SHIT! I remember in the first game, she does the whole Matrix thing where the she freeze does. frames and the camera goes does. around. She's like... I just have to flee my mind. It looks like you can use this cannon to get across. As for me, I have to flee my mind from the uwu. Wow. It wasn't as impressive because they didn't like freeze her in midair and move the camera around all Zack Snyder-like. Yeah. Kaplit! This is how I get rid of my children. It looks like that cannon was just hawking the lug that is your body. I was gonna say, this is how I get rid of my children. I sneeze them out like they're goobers. <laughs> they are goobers. They are goobers. That's what I call my girlfriend is goober. Yeah. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to get a dog and name him goober. 
That would be a good name for a dog. That is a good name for a dog. I, I thought it would be funny to get something like really super big and kick ass like a husky and name him Goober and then get something stupid like a pug and name him something dignified like Maximilian or Charles. Tra Maximilian to Charles, though. Yeah. Something like really weird and uppity and dignified shit for a shit lord. I want to get a St. Bernard and name him Hoagie. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Hoagie or Bernie? Those are my two I like wants. Hoagie. Hoagie was the name of uh, uh, Avatar Aang's son's uh, Sky Bison. Yeah. That's why I like it. It's Hoagie. Hoagie instead of Appa. <laughs> and they named him after a fucking hot dog, dude. <laughs> I like it. Fuck you, you stupid idiot. You're not even shooting at me. See, why are the AI in this level, like, not Particularly even... Particularly stupid. Yeah, and then, like, the ones in the last level we played, they were, like, god tier. I think I can see an egg behind you, but it's out of... Behind me?! Man, if only fucking Sheila was here. Or, you know, that shit no problem. Else. Excuse you, sir. I did not say you could assault me with your bombs. I guess I'm just gonna have to go find a firework, because they're pretty tracky. Yeah. Alright, kid, don't shoot me with that. I didn't consent. I didn't sign the waiver. Get out of here. I'm not consenting to your ninja training. I've told you a thousand times. If you... If, what the fuck is going on right well, now? They backflip when they are near fire, so sometimes they dodge you, which is kind of random and stupid, but whatever. Sometimes you have to just charge. Sh 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 Pocket sand. sand. And you're dead. I did it. Wait, show your back again. Show your back again. Show me your Ow! ass! That's not your back. That fucking hurt. Not gonna lie, this is some of my favorite music in the entire game right here. Firework Factory's chaos, dude. I like it. Like, musically wise. I gotta go spit this at the fucker again. Whee! Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You dude? missed! I did the miss. I did, in fact, do the miss. I did the miss with my big, stupid cat brain. So I gotta. F I, I see a little laser pointer and I just gotta go right after it because that's how I live. I live moment to moment like a kitty cat. That's why. See, now you can see his fucking back. Sure, yeah. why not? Now that, you know, I've wasted time going back twice to get a fucking firework. Oh my good gravy gracious, ladies and gentlemen. We are seven minutes into the fucking episode. How and are we I am feeling it. How are we feeling? Hope we're feeling particularly good today. If not, well, then you can join us in our shitlord areas. Of course, there's another guy. Hey, 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 okay. sir, Ow. sir, sir, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to drop your Genghis Khan mentality for just one moment and accept this fucking rocket as a gift from my people for conquering us. Fuck. All right, yeah. where are we going? Yeah. All right, that way is certain death, and this way isn't, so. Oh, there's people on the ceiling in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it is. Too bad they don't strike first, they just stand there for like a, a whole how yeah. a whole fucking second. They remind me of the ninjas in the um, Presidents of the United States Peaches music video. Oh yeah, there were ninjas Millions weren't of there. Peaches. Peaches for me. Look out! Yeah. Oh, oh. Wait. 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 He's stupid. Shit. No, he was stupid. He was, he ain't no mo. He still is stupid? Hey buddy, look over here. Nope, he's tracking. Look at this track. Look at this track. Oh god, what a god. What a god. Maybe you can get him to throw a bomb in the corner and then run out of the radius of it and it'll blow um, him up. That would be a pretty baller way to kill him. Let's see if I can do it. Hey Buckarooty. Or not. I mean, All there right, you just go. do that, that and happen. give everyone who have epilepsy a fucking episode. Damn, son! I blew that firework right up in my asshole! It was pretty cool, though. It was worth it. Dude, you ever shoot bottle rockets out of your asshole? No. It's a pretty rewarding experience, let me tell you. I don't know about that. Oh, it is. You don't believe me? Yes, I don't believe you. <laughs> you just stick the long, you know... Just stick the long thing all the way up your ass! <laughs> Not all the way up and your ass. And then just, on fire. just enough to keep it. So then, dude, your farts are volatile at the point. Right? So, like, any fart can light the match, right? So then you're just playing a game of keep away with your asshole. It's fucking funny. Shut up. 
It's funny! I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. Oh. They improved this scene right here with better animation. That's good. Well, that's because they got rid of the one where she jumps around. See? She's uwu. Look at how uwu she is. That is true uwu. <laughs> that's like some... <laughs> yeah, that was good. What am I thinking? That's like some Dr. Seuss shit right there. One thought, two I... thought, red thought, blue thought. One bitch, two bitch, dead bitch, new bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's Dr. Seuss for you right there. Why would it? Literally, they went to the lengths of putting a fucking egg in orbit. Just like the rest. Actually, that begs the question of is, uh. Oh, she's going back to Evening Link. I gotta go tell her brother. That begs the question of does this world connect with the other world in the in the form of stratosphere atmosphere thing? Like, are all these worlds within their own things, or are they on different planets? That's a good uh, question, actually. It's a question that begs the, begs the answer. I thought there were gems down here. Agent 9 mission, guys. I keep forgetting what the fuck they call him. I just keep calling him Monkey Man. Monkey Spy, dude. But he's called Agent 9. Ah, Agent, Agent 9! 9, 9, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. Yes, because the professor... Because that was the one that was in the fucking demo for the game. Yeah. Well, that... the professor was fucking trying to figure out how the hell to get to other worlds, and he just managed to find his way to that one, so... Okay, thank you. Thank you for I that. I think they actually damage you when they do that. No, I didn't get hit. I already had a blue. Fucking eat my ass, Red. Fucking God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You ain't got shit. You ain't shit. Come on. I'm gonna eat your ass, dude. Literally, I'm doing it right now. I'm gonna fucking barbecue fil fillet your ass. I'm not gonna follow you down there because it's nice. certain death. Fuck you, fucking idiotic piece of shit. If your mom was still alive, which I'm sure she is, I would do the same thing eat to her. her ass. Yeah, I'd eat her ass too. I would eat your mother's delicious booty. And we call it the MILF souffle where I'm from. Wow. What? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how anytime I say something relatively funny, you just ended up with wow. Like, I'm always like, what? Did you think it was stupid? I mean, it's stupid most of the time. Well, yeah. I didn't say I was a god of comedy. I hate how fast they get whenever they don't have a fucking body. God. Kill them. I am attempting to do that, but he's being a dodgy bitch. He keeps ghosting my texts. You fucking degenerate, get your ass over here so I can grind it into a meat stone. Dude, I'm going to fucking jerk off this dragon's head after I'm done with it. I'm gonna jab my dick down its fucking severed Where did it go? There it is, it's so hard to It's track. regenerating life, kill it. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, he went in the hole. No, he didn't. Where did he go? There you oh, go. yeah, he is, okay. It's just a head. He, he, he got life back. Ooh, he tried to get me. I don't subscribe to that bullshit, dude. Get your Tom fuckery out of my hunkery. God, just die! Seriously! Oh my God. You're ahead! Just die! Quit while you're ahead. Yes! Man, Jesus Christ. Quit. He did. Quit while you're fucking ahead. Okay, here we go. Blue dragon time! Dead dragon time! Die dragon time! I will eat your ass until you are no more. What if eating ass is how you transfer power? Ow. Ow. In what, in Ow! What kind of power, Noah? I don't know, just like life Knowledge. force. And just school was no, basically just, just one big human centipede parade. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you think about That'd it, it'd be life, terrible life and I'd hate it. fucking sucks. Alright, cool. Get, get, get out! Get out! Go to the fucking Goodwill and sell all your shit because you're getting out. Get out of here. Fuck off. Fuck got off. Him. Fuck off. We got him right in the pooper. I hate following them into the tunnels because it, it does nothing to help me. Yeah. Fuck you, you fucking asshole. Just yeah, die. Yeah. I have no want to live any longer with you in this world. You have lost privileges to be here. You must die. Handle said die, so now you must die. And he speaks in uwu, so you know he's the truth. He's, you know he's the true woo. He's the true woo because he speaks the oo woo. There we go. You did. Here, have this. I fished it out of the molten lava. Yeah, you know, I don't believe that for a second. 
Where? Where? My mommy left me. Quit your bitching. You're with me now, kid. Quit your bitching. There will be no bitching in my fucking kitchen. Alright? Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. He did the funny. Ow. I did that on purpose. Hello and welcome Hurt. to Spyro Jackass Edition. <laughs> -da -da. Hi, I'm Steve-O. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve-O. I sound like fried death because of my years and years of horrible drug abuse. I'm actually a really well-rounded well human now and I'm vegan for whatever reason. Yeah, I went to Peru to adopt a dog, and it was the best video on the entirety of YouTube. Did you see, uh, did you see him climbing that crane? Uh, yeah, to protest SeaWorld. Yeah. <laughs> Lighting fireworks up there, and them exploding Yeah, and the cops face. and everybody were fucking, like, coming after him, trying to get him down, and he's like, nah, man, you're, you just keep going, man. You fucking not having this shit. Fucking stunt. Whoa, man, fuck SeaWorld! You'd think he was back on drugs with that fucking stunt. Hey man, I, I admire Steve-O, I'm not gonna lie, that man's had a rough life. Granted, most of it was entirely self-immolation, but like, self -inflicted. he- Self-inflicted? Yeah, he, he straightened himself out, and now he's got a really kick-ass life, and he's a really good person, and he's really well-spoken, weirdly enough, if you've ever heard him talk. Oh no, he's intelligent. Yeah. That's what drugs does to you. Crazy. It makes you smart. Yeah, I don't know if I can agree with that, but uh... Some drugs make you smart. Some drugs make you more open-minded, like not necessarily Adderall. smart. Adderall makes you smarter. Adderall makes you concentrate. Yeah, I need some of that shit in my life. Like Maybe when I'm some doing legal meth. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, if I, I was a meth addict, I would get so were. much shit done. Oh, I mean, uh, what? No, I thought I was gonna shoot you back to where you were. I was wrong. No, no, it goes up here. You still... Yeah, you're missing stuff. I, I think it's the agent well, I, stuff. Well, I you say I can't get the fucking gems anyway, so I can't do the rest of the level without the monkey man here to help me. Go to the next stage. It's time. Kill the boss. It's time. Then find Agent Nine and eat his ass. I need. I need. It's time to fight Scorch. Scorch is the boy we need to fight next. I must stretch so that my rib cage expands and then decompresses itself. Is that how that do? Yeah, your diaphragm's crazy. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm having enough fun to justify me coming over. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll go <sighs> fuck myself then. But nope, we still got another world to do. Do we? Yeah, otherwise they would have, like, popped out and been like, oh, No, yeah. come on, we gotta go to the rocket. Oh, fuck, you're right. What do we have left? I don't fucking know. Oh, fuck. All right, we did, we did Charmed Ridge, we did... Haunted Fleet. We did the Honey it. Speedway, we did Lost Fleet, we did the Fireworks Factory, we did Frozen Altos, we did Bentley's Outpost. Do they just not give us a reminder to go to the rocket? No, they don't. Wait. Nope, okay, we're good. Sorry. Oh! They just didn't give me a reminder, I was like, oh, um, Normally they give you a reminder. I was gonna say, because I genuinely can't think of anything in there that we may have missed. Yeah. I was like, for some reason, I always think the Egyptian tomb levels in that one. Yeah, it's in the next one. But it's in Midnight Mountain, dude. Look at how dark it is. Yeah, spoopy. I'm gonna have a yawn counter. No, I'm not. That's too much work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice way to bail on that idea immediately. Well, I don't want to do it. Also, you can't always tell if I'm yawning because I don't make a lot of noise. I'm only a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> So you're going to magnify your coochie? Mm-hmm. But I thought you said we were using them for magic. She's got a toe ring. Bro, your entire body is smaller than that one hole in the cage that you're talking about. She's got a toe ring, dude. Mm. <laughs> Did you... I follow this meme page on Facebook called Things That... Are, it's called Things That Are Not Aesthetic. Somebody... Well, somebody pierced their fucking toenail with a ring. Oh. Things That Are Not Aesthetic. That's... That's... If I had my blasters, you'd be singing a different tune. Know what I mean? <laughs> they, I did like how they did him. Do, do the Jim Carrey line. 
You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. That's because you're a wannabe bitch. You stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her. You stupid incel. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Ah, shit. Well, this is gonna get real ugly. Ah. <laughs> Kill the man. Your mo your mouth is music to my face. Here we go. It's scorch, baby. This might be our last stands for I don't know about that, man. Dude, we're inside the whale again. He's bigger than a whale, man. Beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I like how they took the, the, the whole he's a yeti so he has to be all stupid thing and it was just like, no, let's make it Can weirdly eloquent for no good reason. Alright, let's do it. Bah! Oh god, oh god, oh god. I hate this one so much. I hate that shit. I had a shield. Boo. I had a shield up. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, he's like a little bat. Yeah. Look at his face, he's like a little bat boy. Not like a baseball Oh my bat god, boy. it barely tracks. I hate it. Oh, it here doesn't. Come, here come the crabs. Like I told you, man, they use crabs so fucking much in this damn game. Dude. Second only to sheep in the number of times used in the series, crabs. Nice! <laughs> that was Eat my good. ass, dude. Here come the crabs. I, I was like. I was gonna say why are crabs and eggs, but I I realized how stupid that was as soon as I said it. Ah, that one didn't Boo. 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 This fucking oh god! Oh, Damn it! I forgot about the rats. The ice weasels. Ah oh, shit. Can I? No, I can't. Nope. I was gonna say, can I get rid of them early? Oh my god, they're sliding around on slime. Oh my god, look. That scares the absolute fucking hell out of me. Get my ass, dude. Okay, good. I can use that. Oh, God. Look at how menacing he is! They do look weirdly menacing. Oh, shit. Oh, ah, the this... fire goobers. What the fuck? Where were you the rest of this game? Okay, cool. He's nowhere. He's literally nowhere. Really? Yeah. The a weird one. Fuck off, dude. Leave me alone. God. I thought it was a horror, Trebek. Okay, Scorch, could you stop moving? Thank you. Bleh. I'm dead. <laughs> ah, James. James. James Siberius Kirk. Yeah, Tiberius Kirk. Tiberius Kirk. James Tiberius Kirk. I didn't ever watch Star Trek. I've seen a couple episodes. I saw most of Next Generation, and I saw some of I the saw one. the movie that they remade because my mom loved it. I don't know why. I, I, I was always more of a Star Wars boy, you know what I mean? I saw a fair amount of both growing up. Mine was mostly Star Wars boy. There's only so many like sci-fi stories that I submitted to anyway. I was more Stargate than either of those two. I didn't honestly. never watch Stargate. I knew of Stargate. Stargate's some good and cheesy shit. Let me tell you. Wonderfully fast delightfully fast fight, cheesy. Dude. Yeah, man, you shredded through that shit. Nice job. Well, it was because I was trying not to do perfect, like. The other two bosses I was trying to do perfect, then I would always, like, get one hit down before the very ending. Oh, we get Hunter back! Hi, Bianca. Hey, Bianca! Did Great. you bring me more food? Now I get to go back and do the Hunter thing! Yay! Yay! My favorite! Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. She gave you an apple. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <laughs> a little bit of foley there when you did the hand thing. Idiot. I thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Really? You didn't question her motives whatsoever? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll admit it. I'm a bit short-handed. Uh, she said jump, I said how high. She said fuck a guy, I said how many. <laughs> Ah, oh, here comes Bianca for one final time. I do like Midnight Mountains track. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. No, you don't trust me, but I want to help you. She's not mystery anymore. She's Bianca. I'm going to open the hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find I literally have all the eggs. All right, kids, we're pros with the weird position. So we have to fight the sorceress two times, right? Yeah. So the question beckons forth, do we do everything and then just fight her twice? Or do we just go Do everything and fight her twice. All right. Oh, God, that Midnight Mountain track, though, baby. Fuck yeah. Saki! Getting some Japanese names now. Yeah. Well, I think... Yeah, no, you're right. That is Japanese. Yeah. I was going to say both cultures ended up having rice beer. I was talking about... Never mind. <laughs> what? Never mind. Never mind. We're talking about Saki Sanabashi, were you? Never the fucking mind, kiddos. Never the fucking mind. Oh, I didn't mean to murder that lizard in cold blood. Get it? Cold blood? Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you, that was funny. I was gonna say, that begs the question exactly how you've survived in all of the ice-themed levels. The lizard has cold blood. Well, so do dragons, right? I guess technically they're reptiles. But I was more focused on the lizard. Make it! Making these babies. Making bacon pancakes. <gasps> That's what it's gonna make, making pancakes. Dun, 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 dun. Insert the New fucking... New York! Yeah. I wish they did a full fucking track remix of that, but it doesn't fit the rest of the song. It's sad. Yeah, I imagine, yeah. yeah. There's only so much, like... Because Jake only did that song for, like, ten seconds. Stretching that throughout the rest of the thing would be shitty. You did it! You got In the thing. time that I moved from down there to up here, you did it. Good job. If you're if you're hearing this, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cage six, goddamn. Woo! What? It's the destiny. Eevee! Dude, Eevee's my favorite Pokemon. She's the only Pokemon that I love and know and have with my hearts. I don't know why, but I think mine's Sableye. I will not question that, but I also want to know why. It's just because, like, nobody fucking cares about Sableye. Sableye doesn't exactly serve a niche, and it's weird and creepy, and, like, nobody really, nobody really thinks about either. Sableye. Yeah, and he also doesn't evolve. He's just, like, a weird, creepy gym face dude. But I like his design for whatever reason, and I kind of feel bad for him. He is rather unique out of all the things. Yeah. Don't they get an evolution in the recent ones, though? One evolution? Uh, I'm trying to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were signaling that they do, in fact. I was going to say, no, I have no clue, actually. But, I am i mean, that would be a good one to have an evolution of. I know he's in Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, but I do not know if he has an evolution. Love me some fuck the Dino Mines! Yeah, fuck the goddamn Dino Mines. God. Game sucks my nuts! Fucking Dino Mines. Oh, God, we got to go to the Sparks thing, too. Yeah, I got to do both of them. This one oh, and the last my one. gosh. Sparks, do you want to fucking do your job? Sparks, you Harbor Speedway. That one ain't bad. Yeah, the first time I played this game, I got a blowjob while I was doing that level. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, just fuck it with me. No. Nope. Wish I was, kiddo. I was trying to race the fucking pelicans, and it didn't work out so well. A little bit distracted. Look, we found Buddy! Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Purple? Uh, I'm here to see, uh, what's his nuts? Mr. Sander Cohen. I haven't seen that movie in about a bajillion years. Elf. Yeah, well, now's the time for it. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's good shit. Fucking Will Ferrell. I've been watching a lot of Will Ferrell movies, actually. I just watched Land of the Lost. Oh, that's good. I love it. Under Chaka Eat, Chaka Eat. Underappreciated, that movie. Yeah. The series, I like the, the TV show, too. The TV show really? Good. Never once actually seen the TV show. It's cornier because you know it's... Oh, I'd have been, yeah. I mean, they casted 90s. Will Ferrell in the fucking reboot, so it should have been. It, it's more so like the, uh... Nice. You know. Yeah, you know. Well, well, spider. Shut the fuck up, money bags. 1,300 gems! It's more so like the, uh, the FX. That's corny. Not really much like the... I was gonna say, wasn't it animated? Yeah. No. It was live action. Yeah, I'm certainly uh, unfamiliar no. with it. Well, it's your well, Cracker Kelly Patty! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dance, you stupid fuck. 
answer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. It's Tom Kenny talking to Tom Kenny. Ah, anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting a sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, Huzzah! Yippee! Woohoo! Wish you could stay, but my home world's been overrun by a run. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. You know what I mean? You bet. Later! <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably one of my least favorite levels, but one of my most favorite characters. He is a crazy fucking baboon, isn't he? What the hell was the last What day? was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Take it from you, Spiral. Never spend a week in a cage. Yeah. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinocs. You gotta memorize, huh? I was gonna say, that was the thing that was on the demo. Followed up by, ah, Agent 9, my favorite pupil. Welcome ah, back to is. my island laboratory. I'm going to say, I know there's one more behind some crusty-ass old man. Billy! Billy, get in my belly! All right, goodbye. I evaporated him. You did. I you did the whole hub world. I did Midnight Mountain, and it was good. Now I got to go do the goddamn 9 level, and then we got to go back and do the fucking... Nine bullshit. You act like it's a, like it's not a privilege to play these games. Don't get me wrong; they're good games. I like certain parts kind of suck. Hey, remember, kids, just roll off the haters, man. Roll off the haters like that nice paint that's got the the lead in it, because that's <laughs> the one you want to be sniffing. Roll that shit off. It's nothing, man. So what that that kid called you stupid in your chemistry class? He probably that's doesn't. a lot of lead paint. That'll yeah. make you forget about it. See a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee deep in Rhinocs. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. There you go, you did it. Yeah. The first couple sentences you had there. Oh, Age at nine, my, my favorite, favorite pupil. pupil. Welcome, Welcome back, back to my to island, island laboratory. laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Sure, professor that I didn't really like in the first game. Or the whatever. It's no Tom Kenny, man. He can do no wrong. Oh my god, that one's got a real one. I like how the shots bounce, not gonna lie. It's cool. Okay, so trying to line him up on this axis that's really, like, touchy very hard guys yeah. so if I miss shots or something that's my fucking justification for it it's weird I'll don't just... fucking at me about how goofy these controllers aren't yeah because they are well I mean so this game came out no wait they were doing Ratchet and Clank this was probably the basis for Ratchet and Clank well like, I think I remember system. you actually telling me in that Hurricane well, level so, that's yeah, where the character yeah that, came that from. those char those characters were the basis for Ratchet and Clank was the the big meaty man and his small little robot. That was the basis of Ratchet and Clank. That was where they got their idea from. Because a lot of their character designs, they look back on their old games to find them. Because that's how cool they are. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck you, this enemy type is now a hero. Shoot the fucking box. Yo. It's time to... Okay, yeah, I forgot he teleports. There, it, 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 go into sniper mode. First person mode is what it should be fucking called. Because that's exactly Look how what fucking. It is. God. Weird and sensitive and shit. It's so sensitive. Sensitive. More sensitive than. than, than uh, uh. You got it. I didn't want to make a sex joke. No, that's I was going to say a sensitive little boy who just got out of puberty and he's really scared of his new pubes. That's how sensitive he is. You cleared it out! Let me disappear. Hang on a second, I have to disappear. I want a fucking island research facility. I don't. Why not? Where the fuck International you waters, you can commit whatever fucking crime you want to. <laughs> That's what you want to do? Yes! Just as I thought. The... Just as I thought. The birds are Somebody pisses here. you off, bring him to your island, kill him, dump his body in the Whoa, ocean. that was a weird flip, though. Welcome to my secret lair on Skull Crusher Mountain. I hope that you've enjoyed your stay so far. I see you've met my assistant Scarface. His appearance is quite disturbing, but I assure you he's harmless enough. 
He's a sweetheart, calls me master, and he has a way of finding pretty things. Is this Jonathan Colton? Bringing Colton's? them to me, oh, and I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, you'd see the voices that control me from inside my head say I shouldn't kill you yet. Yes, it's Jonathan Colton. Yeah, I figured. Picture the two of us alone inside my golden submarine. While up above the waves, my doomsday squad ignites the atmosphere. And all the fools who lead their foolish lives may find it quite explosive. Well, it won't mean half as much to me. I don't have you here. I know it isn't easy living here on Skull Crusher Mountain. <laughs> Maybe you could cut me just a little <laughs> slack. Would it kill you to be civil? I've been patient. I've been gracious. And this mountain is covered with wolves. <laughs> Hear them howling, my hungry children. Maybe you should stay and have another drink. And think about me and you. Oh, and I'm so into you. But I will too smart for you, even my henchmen think I'm crazy. Not surprised that you agree, if you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, you'd see the voices that control me from inside my head, say I should. <coughs> I skipped a verse in there, but... Yeah. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Uh, the, Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey have a boring meeting with boring manager Rob. Rob say code monkey very diligent, but his output stink. His code not functional or elegant. What do code monkey think? Code monkey think maybe manager wanna write goddamn login page himself. Code monkey not say it. Out loud, code monkey not crazy. Just proud, code monkey like Fritos. Code monkey like Tad and Mountain Dew. Code monkey, very simple man. With big, warm, fuzzy, secret heart. Code monkey like you. Code monkey like you a lot. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. He's great. Jonathan Colton's the man. Jonathan Colton and Bill Words give me similar vibes. Jonathan Colton, I know a large portion of his songs. But I gotta say, his music these days is not what it used to be. Because he started to do covers. And they're good. They're good covers, but... Uh, they're not as funny. Well, uh, back in... Okay, so he had these albums called Thing a Week. Where he did he did it for nine weeks. Where he put out an album every week. Which was crazy. Because each one had like seven or eight songs on them. Yeah. Sure. And some of them are dog shit. But there's also like... More of them that are amazing than there are, you know. Kind of like the Buckethead catalog, if you've ever seen that. I have not. Buckethead is the guitarist oh, that shit. was um, famous for wearing a KFC bucket on his head and shredding like dude, a motherfucker. That sounds like a Tammy thing. But uh, he's a really fucking talented dude, and he gives gifts out to all the children at all of his bucket shows. No joke, he's like a big creepy Santa Claus that he plays just, guitar. And... He just gives KFC buckets out? No, like he goes to toy stores and gets toys oh, and hands them out to kids at his shows. That makes more sense. Yeah, but like so he... why the fuck would a kid want a KFC chicken bucket? Nah, because he's really fucking talented, and he's got like the craziest guitar playing style on the face of the planet, and he called it nubbing. <laughs> It's like the way he taps is like so weird and frantic and erratic and he always plays weird atonal shit that's just really creepy and weird sounding. But back in like 2013 and 2014, he did one album like every three days. And right now in his catalog, he has like 300 different albums and EPs to his name. Damn. Yeah, he's crazy. But I guess, I guess the real reason why was because he had like a health scare around that time and he was worried that he wasn't going to be able to do everything he wanted to do. So he immediately just went apeshit and just decided to release the most amount of music and then did. And now he's fine. Yeah. 
And he ended up teaming up with uh, Bootsy Collins and Bernie Worrell from uh, Parliament Funkadelic, and they formed a super group called Praxis. And that shit is fucking rad, man. Sounds they do like the fucking Decepticon. Dude, you ought to listen to it. Specifically, a track called Animal Behavior. Because the music video for it is druggy as fuck. Animal Behavior. Bootsy Collins is singing it and playing his big fucking star bass. And then there's this dude in the thing that's got like this big crazy Transformers uniform and it's made out of tin cans and he's dancing around. It's fucking crazy. Shot by some weird French dude in Canada in like a weekend. It's like super low budget but like really memorable. Like a Death Grips music video. <laughs> Tony! To everybody out there that's got a taste for weird guitar weird guitar wankery who haven't who hasn't actually heard it. Go out and listen to some Buckethead. Cuckoo Clocks from Hell is a pretty good album. Cuckoo Clocks from Hell. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the rest of them are in the air. Let me just... Cuckoo Clocks from Hell, Selected, Acoustic Works. Oh, Magic Creepy Doll, that always follows you. It's got a ruined eye. It's always open. He also used to play with uh, Guns N' Roses back when... Uh, uh, Slash was on strike. They had to use him to sub for him mid tour for whatever reason. I forget honestly. But there, are, there are videos of him playing with fucking Guns and Roses. Neat. Which is weird. A hundred percent complete. Because his guitar style is complete. absolutely nothing like Slash. I do not like how big of strides he takes. His yeah, he's got some big floppy his feet. His monkey there. strides, man. And the entire upper half of his body is just like completely Let's see still. that T-Bows! <laughs> He's giving there us the peace sign! Peace out, fuckers! Woo! It's Tom Kitty. Oh my god, Mom, look! It's Tom Kitty! They killed Kitty! Bastards. I was gonna go there if you didn't. I never have seen an episode of South Park in my life. No. -uh. I have never seen a, an episode of South Park no in my life. No way. I don't even like it. There are a couple of episodes that are just goddamn gems. And there are some where you can tell they kind of ran out of shit. Well, if you're doing a thing a week, I mean, it's very clear that... Yeah, I mean, and they've been doing it since, like, the fucking 90s. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go back to Evening Lake. <laughs> I'm reminded of that stupid clip I sent you. <laughs> Let me set the stage for you here. Oh yeah. That's... You're out at you're out at your bingo parlor night with all your girlfriends and you roll up in this nice 13 carat panzo to panza night ring. There's this episode of South Park where they basically dunk on people on the home shopping network for stealing old people's money and selling them dog shit computers. <laughs> dog shit jewelry, I should so say. So Apple, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I'm going to get into another fucking rant here similar to the Apple Please one. Please do. Here's the thing. I work with a lot of old people in technology, and when the two collide, you get a lot of really weird results. Specifically, I've noticed this trend of older women coming in to Be uh, Geek Squad with these really colorful oh, computers that have oh. dog shit stats. And every time, every single time, I ask them, did you get that on the Home Shopping Network? They say yes. How could you tell? And the reason why I can tell is because it's a dog shit computer that's in a really weird fetching color that has a dog shit processor in it. Of course. Every single one of these computers is the exact same way. And it's it's something that I could see coming in a mile away. And they come in and they sit down and they're like, oh, it's running a bit slow and I don't really do a lot on it. There's not really a lot going on on here. And I'm like, yeah, there's really nothing being stored on here. It's just that uh, you pot a pile of dog shit. I mean, like, it's... Uh, <laughs> There's no way it's no one's fault but your own, man. You got a fucking AMD A6 processor in it, but I'm sure they sold it to you because they were like, ooh, it's got like 12 whole gigabyte of RAM in it, even though it's asinine to have 12 gig of RAM with an A6 processor because it can't fucking utilize it all. Shit's asinine, man. You don't even get it. It sucks. And they spend like six and seven hundred dollars on these pieces of shit. And I basically just have to tell them, you, you did a bad. You got scammed. You got fucked over, man. You got scammed. You maybe you maybe don't buy fucking... something from the goddamn TV at 2 in the morning. Yeah. 
Oh, this looks like a pretty good deal. Oh, it's not. I Meanwhile, see. these people know not of what makes a quality computer, and I'm sure the people on TV aren't gonna fucking tell them. Drives me nuts, Noah. Kills me inside. And that was the reason why I sent you that fucking clip, because it was basically Stan calling up to the Home Shopping Network and telling the guy to kill himself, because he keeps <laughs> selling people bullshit jewelry at expensive-ass prices. Okay, so here's the problem with this. You have to manually touch every fucking gem. Yeah. I do like that they try to do a Wolfenstein here. I will and it like props. half works. Yeah, I will give them props for that, but at the same time, fuck this stupid mini game. Okay, I forgot I have to shoot it. Dude, do you want to make a fucking Wolfenstein game? Um. Because we could do that, it's possible. Yeah. That's like the only thing I know how to do in Godot in 3D. Put blocks in a I stage. I hate the fucking gym pickup thing. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Die, 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 die. Yeah, I think die, it would be... Die, die, missile barrage! I think it would be pretty sick if I actually figured out how to 3D model and we could make a video game. Well, Even if it is just, just be pixel art. Even if it was just basic and kind of shitty, I think it would be rad as fuck. Also, like a dungeon crawler game? You think that would be pretty sick? Probably. Have you ever seen those, um... Way back in the day of, like, early 16-bit hardware, they had those games where you were walking... Wow, nice. Nice AI there, dude. They had those games where you would walk yeah, around in, like, a... Your stupid code is showing, buddy. Yeah. You'd walk around in, like, a fucking grid, just being accosted by monsters that you had to choose to Have fight. Have you ever played Dungeon of the Endless? I'm fairly certain, yeah. Well, I haven't played it, but I'm fairly certain I know what game you're talking about. It's very good. It. You should try it out. It's one of those games It's also very fucking hard. Based on the thing I was talking about. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Really square-ass dungeons, turn-based combat. Well, not really a dungeon. Movement. So like, you you are uh, you're a dude or a woman. You pick your hero, and then like, depending on like what stats you pick, you can pick another hero. But you like go through these levels of a dungeon, but they're actually like a ship because you're trying to escape the ship. And it's kind of like that, where like each level, of, like you get certain amounts of like resources and shit from like putting nodes on things. And like it's turn based, and then like things start attacking if you're on the level for too long, like more so than like what normally spawn, you know. And then like you have to you have to figure out if you want to sacrifice a hero or not to stay there to hold out, just for long enough to get more resources from the level, so you start the next level with more shit and you can get stuff faster. Or if you just run, because that's normally what happens. But as soon as you hit that, as soon as you hear that alarm in that game. You have got to fucking yeet because they will decimate you. Like, they don't hold back shit. If they think you've been there for too long, you're dead. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. Plus, most of the heroes are complete and total shit until you upgrade them. Shoo! Bet I can't kill myself with my own bullet, right? I think Dungeon of the Endless is only like 5 or $6, too. Pretty good. I'm kind of hooked on Door in the Woods right now. I know life. you are, because you yeah. want to play it right now, don't you? Yeah, I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah. You added a new enemy type since last you played it. Which is? The Witch. Oh. You added a witch, you added a ceremonial dagger. Um, he fixed some things with Chainsaw. But Chainsaw used a lot of fuel really quick. It does, but now you can actually refill it properly. And also refill other uh, gas cans, so you can only have one in your inventory, which is nice. Also, if you set a gas can down and shoot it, it explodes. It's pretty already. sick. Oh, God. Yeah, for, I, I don't know if anybody that's listening to this knows what the fuck we're talking about, but there's this indie game out there that's being made by like two dudes on the Godot engine, and it's really sick. It's called Door in the Woods, and it's it's a Cthulhu, hard as fuck. It's hard as fuck. It's a Cthulhu horror game made entirely out of ASCII text. So if you've ever seen um, Dwarf Fortress, it looks a lot like that. But it's like in 3D and there's like shader effects and shit, so it kind of looks like there's some depth to it, you know? It's really fucking hard, and I figured out what you're supposed to do in order to gain that. Um, you're supposed to go insane almost immediately. Yeah, you're that's supposed how you get to do a crazy things. amount of shit, go insane. And then find the note fragments, assemble and then them, assemble them yeah. and then, and then get, get at least experience. two sanity, and then kill yourself so that you can save your XP. Because if you die while you're insane, you, you lose you, all you your get XP. Like Ten XP if you re re remake the fragments. Yeah. Or something similar to that. Which, if you're insane, would probably be more like eighty. 
Well, maybe not that generous, but Jesus Christ, I forgot this bullshit. Oh, God, there are so many. It's tanking the frame rate. Yeah. That's what normally happens. But this game's doo-doo. Uh-oh, stinky. <laughs> what? I don't know. Something about the way you said that I like. Uh-oh, stinky. This game's doo-doo. Game's oh, so shit. Good. It's fucking I, stinky. That's what I used to say whenever I would die in Fortnite. This game's fucking duty. Because, you know, it was never my fault. It was always... I would always die to some streamer that has dedicated his life, religion, and blood to the fucking game. She's really fucking disappointed, man. We had this client come in that came in with her kid who was yeah, fucking, I know, you already told the yeah, story. <laughs> yeah, addicted to Fortnite. And I thought that was just the stupidest thing, but my god, this Look, kid... Look, Mom, I need this special controller that makes me build faster. Yeah, yeah it's got... Or you use a It's got V-Box because it comes with the Fortnite skin. <coughs> this kid would not fucking accept but a Christmas present. Unless... You see that ricochet I, shot? I didn't. I actually coughed while I was doing that and I Damn missed it. Damn it. That was a good ricochet shot. I missed it, but... Fucking... He wouldn't accept a Christmas gift unless it was Fortnite-related in some that way. That is sad, and also, at least you know your kid's gonna be a virgin until he's 19. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Listen, man, if you have a boy, all you gotta worry about is one dick. If you have a girl, you have to worry about all, all the, the dicks. dicks. Ha ha ha. 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 Did you, get that, from, did you okay. get that from Mrs. Lance, like how I did? Uh, no, I just knew it was a saying. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Lance told that. We have this teacher that we grew up with named Mrs. Lance, and she was our English teacher. She's absolutely one of my most favorite teachers. It, it's probably between her and, like, one other dude as far as favorite teachers go, but she told the story about how her mom was talking about her new kid, her new grandbaby, and she was like, oh, yeah, it's good that you're having a daughter. If you have a daughter, well, no. God damn it. She was like, if you if you have a son, you only have to worry about the one penis. If you have a girl, you have to worry about all the penises. <laughs> I think that's just a really old saying. It might be. There must be a box over there, because they yeah. spawn it out like the fucking bunnies in a goddamn litter. Is that what they're calling in the litter? Yeah, probably. Are they? Sure, why not? Is it a murder of rabbits? A like mur yeah, a murder of rabbits. It's a murder of rabbits. Like crows. Yeah. I mean, I would be a murderer of rabbits. But nah, she was the one who told me that story, and I thought that may have been where you got it from. Nope, just no. I think you phrase. missed a. I think you missed a. No, there's a gym over there. Yeah, I know. I just got a. I, I, I saw life, and I didn't know if I was still good or not. But you know, I haven't taken a hit the whole fucking time. But you know, now that I said that, I'm gonna get hit as soon as you open the room. Oh god, they're sure. crawling. They're xenophages. Xenomorphs. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Hmm, yes, of course, yes. Hmm, yes, of course. Mm, yes, of course. Sorry, okay. That's what we ought to play on the show, the fucking I'm not PS1 Alien Golden game. Gun. No, oh. the PS1 Alien game. Dude, have you seen how horseshit the Colonial Marine game was? Oh, yeah. It was terrible. Fucking Randy Pitchford. Fuck you. Dude, listen, just because the series is cool doesn't mean you have to rip it off a thousand fucking times. Where the hell are the rest of the gems, dude? They did right with the um, that Sega game that did it. Uh, they did this one game that was called Alien vs. Predator. Oh, that was my own shot. My bad. I got scared for no reason. Uh, and like you could play as a marine or as a predator or as an alien. So naturally, the human campaign is the fucking hardest. The alien campaign is easy as shit, and the predator mer the predator campaign is okay. But they're all unique and interesting, and they all have their weird own playstyle. Should do I shoot you? Yeah, I shoot you. I guess. That's how I disarm bombs. You did it. You rescued me. I disarm bombs Down by letting on. them go off. Hi. Howdy. All right, cool. That's this level then. Okay, now we got to go back to the honey speedway. Unfortunately. Yay. Yay! Kill I'm not having fun. God damn, dude. That mini game takes forever. It does. Everything takes forever. Why is Year of the Dragon the one that takes fucking forever? They put their all into it. It was the last one they ever wanted to make, and then they did. They farmed out all the next games off to other people, and they went off and did fucking Ratchet, ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank my ass! Yeah, Ratchet and Clank. That's a, th th Those are tools. Because <laughs> they're tools. <laughs> Hit me kind of hard there. <laughs> you bruise me. Bruise like an apple? Yeah. Bruising like a bruiser? Why? Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Why do old people... I get this a lot. Why this do they bruise so much? No, why do they call me a bruiser? They 
Maybe that's I, just like I guess a, it's a mafia reference, kiddos. Is it really? I, I yeah, thought it was because, like a nurse thing. No, it was fucking like how you call medical practitioners bones. No, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I thought bruiser just indicated like you know you're, you're a big guy that was that's in the mob. Because when I played this game, oh dude, there was this game that I used to play when I was uh, but a boy in in high school. They didn't even hide them on this one. Yeah, they're like fuck it. Uh, so yeah, I gotta I gotta make sure he does the thing. So in high school, I was I played this game with a large amount of my friends in uh, my my tech class. Because, you know, we would do, like, five seconds of work and then be done. Yeah. Um, so... Tech class was always kick-ass at our school, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, so, the internet would be our domain, as our teacher would tell us. Uh, I hit a rock. The internet, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Puckett was good for that. Yep. And then, um... We had this game that was based around Godfather. That was on the Google Chrome whatever, so, like, all your progress got synced with your, with your account. Sick. So, like, you would build up your little city of... Your little set of town, and like literally every other player was on this one server. So like these other players could send like things to raid you, and like you could send things to raid them, and you're trying to build up your your little pocket of city while they are, and it was really cool. And then until one guy, uh, one guy, did you, did you do it yeah, already? I did it. Wow. Fucking this one guy. Wow, we waited so fucking long to do that. Fuck this game. Yeah, this is. Never mind. No longer my favorite. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just joking, but, like, seriously, <laughs> that's fucking asinine. <laughs> Continue with your story. So, we would play this game, and, like, literally, at the end of the... Se I remember at the end of the semester, everyone was playing this one this one game. And so, we came to this point where this guy... I don't even remember his name, but he was just, like... He kept sending shit at us, you know? Like, he was in our class, and he's just yeah. like, Oh, fuck you, you know, you know, I'm gonna steal your shit. One day, I looked at him, and I was like, You don't know how to play this game. And he was like... Yeah, I do. I've been raiding you guys all the time. It's like, yeah, but you've only been sending like 10 guys at a time. I'm going to send 5,000 arsonists to you. And he's like, what the fuck? How do you have that many? And he's like, well, if you weren't busy raiding all the goddamn time and you, you would upgraded, have things. You upgraded your stupid fucking town like a normal human being, you'd have all these things. So I sent 5,000 arsonists to his fucking joint. And made him And cry. literally burned his fucking town center thing down. And he literally had to start from level one. Ha, get fucked, noob. <laughs> Great. I hated him. I hated him a lot. Because he kept sending bruisers. That was my point, though. One of the people that you could train were called bruisers, and they had they were big, chunky dudes that had bats. That's how mafia works. That's how the mafia works. <laughs> Alright, everybody. <laughs> I think we got at least two more episodes in us. Because Maybe one long one, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, we got to do the stupid dino mines thing. Yeah. That's going to take about a bit it's of goddamn gonna take. years. So we'll probably have two more. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you've been watching other videos and other best stuffs. We got other shit going on. I've watch that out shit. Stuff, and the, one -off, the retro rumble one offs are coming out too. So watch all that shit. Bunch of them's got me in them. Yeah. Actually, all the retro rumbles have you in them because that's how retro rumble works. Ah. That's how the mafia works. All right, see you guys in the next episode. Bye.